Hey guys, so I have a dream with an important message to share with you. Um, also, there's going to be some links um, and scripture in the description box. So please make sure that you watch these. Um, I'm going to get straight to the dream and I'm also going to read off the things because I took a lot of notes uh, that I don't want to forget of things that I wanted to share too. There's quite a bit in here, so God willing, I can do this in one part, but if I can't get everything in one part, I'll share a second video. So I'm just going to read out of my journal. I had this dream last night, um, and I'm just going to read out my journal. I had a dream last night with Mel Gibson and Lara Silva in it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Lara Silva is the woman who plays Eden, Peter's wife in The Chosen, um, I did watch that show in the beginning, but then I pulled away from watching that show, um, when I found out a lot of different stuff, especially the fact that the man who plays, uh, Jesus is not only, um, Catholic, but he's a necromancer. So anyway, um, and which actually there's some of that in the message. So the dream had Mel Gibson, Lara Silva in it. There was a larger black woman and I think a couple other people in the dream. Someone made food. I think it was the larger black woman and handed it out to everyone in the house. I basted all of my food with this um, yummy flavored sauce. I just had this knowing that it was a yummy flavored sauce, although I don't believe I ate the food in the dream. I basted every bit of my food, the meat and all the sides with this sauce and everyone just looked at me they didn't say anything um but they were looking at me as if they wish they had thought of that so there's a scene change i'm in this open kitchen that leads out to a living room area um i'm sitting at this breakfast bar and mel gibson's sitting there and i think there were some other people the black woman is behind the bar and i think she was cooking and Lara Silva is at the other end of the living room, which was open, connected to the kitchen. So I'm sitting there and Mel Gibson is kind of talking about how much um, he loves and likes uh, Lara and working with her and stuff like that. And um, then next thing I know, they start talking about a movie they're going to play. And... I look up at the walls. There was no TV or anything like that, but I look at the walls and one of the walls behind her had the, the um, Baphomet symbol. I don't know if you guys know the, the hand symbol that the Baphomet holds up. I don't even like holding it up, but I need to show you guys what it is, obviously. I saw that on one of the walls. Then on the other wall, I saw that OK sign. Now, um, if you don't know, this is used for Freemasonry to represent 666. And I, I looked and I knew this in the dream. And I was like, oh my gosh, did you guys see that? You see that right over there? And I'm like, you know, trying to expose it. And it's these symbols are right on the walls. But no one seemed to care. So that was the dream. So, um, what's interesting enough is my brother in Christ, Justin... He had a dream with Mel Gibson in it, too, not that long ago. I'm going to share his dream um, in the description box as well. So please read that. There's going to be a lot of things in the description box. Please read all of it because it all pertains to the message that needs to get out, okay? And it all confirms everything. So I was talking with uh, bro Justin, and this is what he said. I wrote down what he said. He said, it's like they're being used by the false spirit to deceive people right into receiving the mark when it rolls out by introducing them to doctrines of demons, not sound doctrine, as you protected your spiritual food in the dream. Um, and another thing I was thinking was, I believe that they're working with the Catholic Church, which will usher in the Antichrist because the Catholic Church is in the whore, is in the and a part of Mystery Babylon. Um, I've said it before. I've warned people, leave the Catholic Church. I've, I've even warned people in my dreams. In a rapture dream I had, uh, one of my family members got left behind. And I was in the spirit 
I had gone invisible, was already like being transformed or whatever, and I was warning them in the spirit, I told you the rapture was going to happen. That's what's happening right now. And you need to leave the Catholic Church. Um, you guys need to be getting into your scripture and reading the truth of these things. The Catholic Church is all false doctrine, idolatry. I know many of you know this, but not everyone knows this. But it's very important. The Catholic Church is going to usher in the Antichrist. So... Here's a bunch of things I looked up. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, the meaning of the name Mel means Council Protector Darkness. So, he is like the Dark Counselor. Lara means Cheerful. Silva means woodland, forest, which makes me think of wilderness. Now, here's another thing. When I looked up the name Lara, this is what I found. It refers to the individual gods of Roman households who were the protectors of homes and fields. So I want to just put this picture together for you, okay? There's Mel, who is the dark counselor. Then there's this woman who is the Roman representing the Roman gods that protect the household, right? And also the last name Silva means wilderness. Mel loved her in this dream. He loved working with her. Now I looked it up. I haven't seen them like doing any kind of work together in real life. So I think that this is all symbolic. I believe the sauce on the food represents the Holy Spirit. Um, that I was putting on my food. No one else was. Oh, yeah. So, at one point, um, I was talking about the dream to bro Rob, and I stopped and I prayed, asking the Lord if there was anything more to this. I heard in the background a cartoon was playing, and they were singing, and it said, listen, just listen. If you don't get the whole picture, there's something you might miss. Then, I saw a character put on a helmet. After denying help, his helmet blew up. His helmet, a.k.a. Helmet of Salvation. Then he asked, this character asked for help. The person who knew what to do said, you need batteries, a.k.a. Power, the Holy Spirit. Which is amazing. That just tied this whole message together. Um, so, basically... What this comes down to, right? I feel like this, in a way, represents the false trinity. The black woman, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie The Shack. In The Shack, they make God the Father um, appear to be a black woman. And <clears throat> so what's interesting is in this dream, the, the big black woman was the one cooking the food, right? And we know that there's a lot of that BLM stuff right now, these doctrines that are focusing on shallow things. They're not focusing on the spirit, not focusing on things that are of God, but distracting you with deception, right? So this black woman is cooking the food that everyone's, that, that she's feeding everyone, right? And Mel, the counselor of darkness, who I believe represents the Antichrist. And then Lara, who I believe the, the protector of the household, wilderness, I believe she represents the false spirit. So the Antichrist's spirit. Now, also, um, we know that Mel, there's a lot of dark things about him in real life. Watch the first, um, I think it was 12 seconds there's an interview I'm going to share in the description box. You don't need to watch the whole video. It's not about what's in the whole video. The first 12 seconds is what I want you to watch, okay? Because what we're paying attention to is symbolism. So these people, they say one thing, they talk one thing, but look who they're supporting. Look what false doctrines they're supporting, and look at what hand symbols they're throwing up. So a part of this message is to stay away from these false doctrines. What these people are trying to feed you, don't fall for it. All this Jim Caviezel, Mel Gibson, these 
Christian uh, actors and, sh and shows that they're putting out now. Um, same with Pure Flix. We used to have Pure Flix. We used to watch a lot of stuff on there. I started noticing a lot of that stuff was changing and how the owner sold out to Sony. Now, if you look up Sony, their number one artist on Sony right now is Doja Cat. If you don't know about her, look her up. Don't watch her music, but look her up. Straight evil. The second person on Sony's list is Brandon Lake. I'm sorry, but a lot of these Christian singers are under the false spirit. Signed to Sony. Sony is an evil company. You know what they do to their master recordings? Witchcraft. Look into these things. Take this to the Lord. Pray to him about it. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 confirms this whole message that I'm sharing right now. I'm also going to put that in the description box as well. So, guys, this character, right, that was that was playing in the background for confirmation when I was praying, Lord, is there anything else, anything more that I need to know, who put on his helmet, but it blew up because he didn't have the power. Guys, you have to be reborn in the spirit in order to be saved, to have salvation. These people... They all had food. They all had the meat, right? These people talk about Jesus. They talk about the Bible. They got knowledge. Kind of sounds like the Pharisees, right? Who are these modern Pharisees? Well, a lot of them are Catholics. Yeah, I actually, I hate this tattoo, but you know what? It's a great testimony from where I was and where the Lord took me out of. So, guys... Don't listen to these false doctrines. The false spirit is sweeping through, deceiving many in many different ways. You cannot have one foot in the world and one foot following the Lord. In the dream, I had the sauce that I was covering all my food in. I had the protection. I had the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why I was able to see those symbols and expose them on the wall, but nobody cared. So I pray that's not you. I pray you take heed to this. I pray in Jesus' name, Lord, that you confirm this message to your people. I pray that you reveal the truth. And if there's anything further in this message, I pray that you reveal that as well, as we know that there are many layers to the things that you show us, and we only see through a dim glass. I thank you for the message that you've shown us. And I pray that you convict us to turn away from anything that is not of you and keep us hidden in you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I had another dream, actually, with this tattoo in it. Very uh, strong, um, strong message in that dream, too. I'm probably going to have to do a separate video at some point because there's a lot to that dream. Um, but I believe it ties into all this, as well as the Lord is just showing me more and more warnings about leaving the Catholic Church. So... I'm thankful to him for pulling me out of that religion, and I'm thankful for the testimony he's given me, and all glory to the Lord, all glory to Abba, Father, all glory to you, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. Thank you. Continue to transform and cleanse us and prepare us in all the areas you see fit in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Read the description box, please, and watch the things that are in there. Thank you.